Hello there and welcome to another video where we'll be seeing how many of our Lego Star Wars clone troopers we can fit in a Lego set and you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you know that today's Lego set is the AT-AT. -AT. Now I did say and you've got to hold me to this when we hit, I think it was like a million subscribers or saying I'll be getting the UCS AT-AT -AT and seeing just how many troopers we can fit in that. Hopefully I build up my army by it then because I think I counted the other day I only had about 75. I say only, 75 is a big number but when you've been collecting for 15 years that's about five clone troopers a year and so far this year I've already got a lot more than five. So the army is definitely still in its early days and I think we're going to fit a lot in this. I think it's going to be more than the ATTE which so far I think is our highest number. We got over 20 clones in that and that was pretty fun so i'm really interested to see how many clone troopers we can fit i know we can technically just hollow this all out shelf it and put a load of clones in i'm gonna do as minimal changes as i can to keep the actual lego set and only add a few extra seats here and there but i definitely think it's going to be close if not more than the attte only this video will tell i would also like to let you know a few other things the May 4th releases were announced a few days ago, so you can see them on my community tab. They do look pretty cool if you haven't seen them already. And also, the Coruscant Guard gunship is halfway to being complete. I started this last night. It must have taken me about an hour and a half to do the first five bags. So after this video, I'm sure I'll be able to finish it. And this is actually going to take up the slot of the Bad Batch mark. Technically, we've been to Coruscant. That would not have been good if I dropped it in the Bad Batch. So I feel like it somewhat fits in with the theme. But it does mean that this week's Bad Batch mock is going to be replaced with a Coruscant Guard Shuttle. Just because I've got so many other videos that I just want to squeeze in before May. And if you are new here, don't forget to like the video if you do enjoy and subscribe. So you don't miss the review of the Coruscant gunship, but you've waited long enough. Let's see how many clones we can fit in the ATAT. -AT. So as you can see, my desk before would have fit the AT-AT, -AT, so the bigger desk is going to have so much more space. But we do have two, I guess three main compartments for storing clones in the AT-AT. -AT. The back one's a bit hard to get into at this angle. But we also have the cockpit up here. You can only really fit three figures in here. You could fit four with a fairly complex modification because I do actually have three AT-AT -AT drivers. So I have fit four troopers in here but there's also a spot at the back for a speed up to fit you can see this is my custom one the instructions are on rebrickable but this will count as our first trooper because whether you decide to build my custom one or not you're going to be able to fit one trooper in there the biggest difference is actually how much space you've got in the middle but we're not going to be sitting any clones directly in the middle you can see there is actually a platform in here which I've prepared prior to today's video, but we'll take a closer look at that in a second. And we will be gutting the interior, but I think the one we'll start off with is actually the head and get some pilots in the cockpit. So as I said, we should be able to fit three clones in here. Let's pop it open just so we know that we're putting them in correctly. There is our first one. It is a Coruscant Guard Trooper. And the second one, sits right next to them and then right at the back we do have a spot for one more clone trooper of course this is where the admiral sits in the actual playset. but as we're using clones you can then shut that up and you shouldn't need to remove any of the clone helmets just make sure they're sat in there nice and firmly otherwise they will be jumping about when you try to close it up it's nice and snug but there is our first three clone troopers in and now that we've got our first three troopers in, our attention shifts back to this backspace as we can definitely fit more than the five troopers that they've already planned for seats in the back. So first off, we want to remove the turret. We're going to try and fit as many clones in as we can. So this turret will have to either go on top of the speeder or just be left out. And that means we will not need the little display stand that comes or the little storage rack that comes it wouldn't really be a Lego set without a weapons rack. And we also are going to be removing these seats because we want to make the most of the space. And you can fit three seats next to each other. I guess you could still work with the seats. 
but I want to make sure I'm making the most of this space and can definitely get a fourth trooper along this edge. And to do that, we are of course going to be using these 1x3 jumper tiles. So if you don't have these, the 1x2s work just as well. Just remember to leave a gap between each one. And if we take our first one and we'll just put that there, we can begin to start to clip down all our clones now. You may wonder why we aren't filling up the middle of it and that will become much much clearer in a second in fact we could probably even go ahead and do that right away because this little bridge of sorts that i have got you can already see i've clipped some jumper studs to the size it'll become apparent why we've done that in a second but i've only built it up by these two bricks and a plate and that clips right on top of the other one i'm going to open the other door just so i can make sure it is firmly in place. We don't want our clone troopers sliding around in transport and that will allow us, if I don't pop it off, to sit a whole load more clones. So as you can see, we've still got the room underneath for our clones. So I'm gonna continue in placing all of the clone troopers down. To put two clones next to each other with only half a stud gap, you just have to make sure that their arms are at different angles and as you'll hopefully begin to see, it enables the clones to just overlap each other, one of them having their arm up, and they're only taking up now technically two and a half studs extra compared to the clone before them. We could offset a few more clones, but as you'll begin to notice, we can still only get four and a half clones here. So that's enough jumper plates for the bottom bit here again, don't forget to overlap your trooper arms. But still, fitting four clone troopers on the bottom is quite nice, especially now that you can see all of the space we've got on top. Even we can definitely get two troopers in the middle there. So I'm going to go back on putting this in and try and squeeze two clone troopers in as I know we've definitely got the space to fit them. And I do apologize, this probably doesn't look very good on camera but as long as we're getting the clone troopers in there i guess it works for the sake of the video now i am going to try something that i didn't plan for and get three clone troopers in the middle so perhaps we'll switch to an aerial view and hopefully what you're able to see from up there is we can actually get another two troopers to squeeze next to this one in fact we could probably even squeeze another one next to these but i'm not going to try and push my luck i just want to get these four troopers in here because there will be a problem with the helmets if you try to squeeze more but definitely give it a go if you do have this set but so far we've got three seven eight nine so we're already going for the tenth clone trooper and we haven't even filled up the other side so let's do that real quick because i've got my jumper plate here and we're just gonna mimic what we've done on this side just on the other side you can see i have also removed the doors the mechanisms for the doors still fit over the clone troopers they sort of overlap where the doors would go and allow the clone troopers just to relax back into the rest of the ATAT -AT without making too much of a fuss and just allowing us to really pull them up. The good thing about this is it doesn't have to be clone troopers we're working with. You can do this with your snow troopers. I just don't have enough Imperial snow troopers to pile on as many as clone troopers. But that brings us to a total of 14 and this is where the fun begins. So I'll switch back to the regular camera angle so you can see just how the magic works. And when we place this platform just on top, you can see there's probably about a studs width between the helmets. So it's not very, very clear, but there's enough clearance to get a few more clones than the 14 we currently have. Now, we actually want to be piling these clones up backwards and making sure that we're not putting too much pressure on the plate. Otherwise, the whole thing will just cave to one side. But that is because there are these one by plates running the whole way through. And as I said, we don't want to make too many modifications. Adding bricks is easy to do. And it means that if I ever want to restore the AT80 to its regular form, I can do it with just removing them extra pieces. But 
We also want to grab our clones, make sure they're seated, arms up and helmet tucked in. And we can also start lining the middle, but you do have to squeeze them in at an angle. Perhaps their arms have to be all the way up to fit easily. And then you are going to be able to rotate them, slide them in. It's not the easiest thing to do, but we're fitting an extra clone. So far we are on, well, we must be coming up to nearly 20 clones. And I think a quick head count gets me at 17 so far. Again, the number will be on the bottom right of your screen but we are getting every single clone we can in here forming a nice neat conga line on the front and then you guessed it we're just going to be lining both of the sides next to them if you did want to take apart your at at definitely feel free to of course it's your lego build you can stack these however you like and if you do remove these you might even be able to get the outside clones sat around the correct way or the usual way for an at at in fact I'm pretty sure this is the way they're meant to be set around because otherwise they'd just all be facing the wall. And I'm not quite sure if you'd be able to squeeze the last one in through the bottom. So I don't know how we're going to get this one in. But for the time being, we can just start to pile up the outside instead, making sure that we're clipping every one down to a stud. There's going to be no funny business like with the clone fighter tank where we just lay two on their side removed a few helmets and pretty much just called it a day off that so we are clipping down each and every one of these clones there's going to be another three on the other side just like that and if you do want to fit this last clone in you are going to have to remove a few pieces and just bend the lego plates out of the way i mean you could just pull apart both sides to save you having to bend any of the lego in but you can see it is a struggle trying to get this last clone in but i did just do it before turning back on the camera and now the clone trooper doesn't want to go in there we go so you can do it by lifting this plate out of the way and then you've got to make sure that you line up the clones this isn't very very easy this is definitely as hard as it looks but as you can see the clone trooper is in there make sure i haven't unclipped the other one and I think that's going to have to do. But at least this piece up here does come apart in one piece. So it is very easy just to clip back on. In fact, in clipping that down, it sort of straightened the middle one. So perhaps that's what it needed all along. And now we are just clipping back the large plates on top and repairing the doors. And then we'll count up all of the clones. So it turns out that the 8080 doesn't actually fit more clone troopers. Then the ATTE, you can see just to the corner there. And I've actually nearly run out of clones fitting this in. I only had 29 clones to start off with. Of course, you can see all of my other clones on display if we needed them. But to fit 24 clones in here is still pretty impressive. I think this set come with two or three snow troopers, probably about three. And we actually do have one on the back. I'm not sure if I counted that. So it's probably actually 25. So we're only a couple of troopers off the ATTE. So even if you make the cockpit modification or the little pilot's head pit here, you're only getting one more clone in. I really don't see us fitting another clone without having to modify the back of it and enable more troopers to sit there, which honestly is probably the route we could have gone down. But I just really like the fact that the speeder is there ready to go even in fallen order where we see the interior of an AT-80. it just makes it a bit unique and saves the whole thing just being the body of the attte so if you want to find out how many clones we managed to fit in the attte it's more than 25 which i think 25 is still a crazy number but if this hasn't beat the attte i think there is only one hope left for this series on the channel and that is before we get to all the UCS sets because as I've said there are a lot of money and the channel's not quite at that stage yet but one day we'll definitely hit the UCS sets. For now the one hope is the Coruscant Guard gunship. I'm only halfway through building but look at all that space in the back. That is prime time Lego clone real estate so hopefully I can get to building this soon. There's a few other videos of course I've got to do my review on it. As always, it's like a rite of passage for a Lego set on a Lego channel. And then we'll get to making a battle pack out of it, which I do want to do first. I've got an amazing thing planned for that. And then fitting as many clones in it as we can. And 
There's also a little hidden section at the front, which I'll definitely be making use of. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you like the video if you are enjoying the series here on this channel. And subscribe so you don't miss out how many clones we can fit in the Coruscant Guard gunship. Coming to you very, very not so soon. But do stick around for that. And I hope you enjoy. And may the bricks be with you always.